July 24th was our grand opening. We're located out by Buckley Air Force Base in Aurora. So uh, a little further out from Denver than most, but out here with some great breweries in Aurora. So actually I was active duty military with the Air Force. Um, they PCS'd me here in 2007. I got placed here, uh, indoctrinated at the, uh, the base, and then they took me to Dry Dock Brewing. It was my first experience of craft beer. Uh, the guys over at Dry Dock, obviously, with the brew hut and everything, were like, oh, you can do this at home, we can help you, and that kind of got me home brewing, and that just became a passion of mine. And I started home brewing, and I figured, well, this is fun, be able to make beer for myself at home. My friends, we'd have parties, get-togethers, and I, I just fell in love with it. Me and Dave, we were working together as contractors at Buckley Air Force Base. Uh, we were complete strangers. We started becoming friends and started becoming drinking buddies, which is how probably the best adventures always start. And he was a home brewer at the time, and just for fun, I would start making some beer labels for him. I don't think we ever thought anything would come of it. We were just goofing around. And then Dave kept brewing. He kept making good beer. Finally, enough people kept telling him, hey, this is better than anything I get in the store. So I was actually looking uh, to get out of the taproom management game when I was over at Copper Kettle and uh, decided to enroll at Siebel, uh, which is an institution up in uh, Chicago, did online. And I enrolled for it and was just kind of kind of tiptoeing around trying to find a different job in the industry to kind of get me out from behind the bar. And a buddy of mine uh, introduced me to Dave and just kind of worked out really, really well for us. Everybody that comes in the launch pad, we treat them as family. Being with the military background and being with that camaraderie, we're very welcoming to everybody and anybody that comes in. We want them to feel at home. There's a little bit more leeway doing this um, brewing than there is with nuclear weapons, what I dealt with. but. Uh, but it's still following the steps, making sure that we're doing everything right, making sure we're hitting what we need to hit target-wise so that we have a good product. Being next to Buckley, Buckley Air Force Base is the home of missile warning. Launch pads kind of just ties in nicely with the base and with the individuals working on this. Uh, one of the biggest things is when I moved here in 2007, I realized there was nothing directly around the base. Most bases you go to, you have different bars and pubs and different restaurants and everything. Buckley's kind of tucked away outside in Aurora and there's nothing around it. So the guys would have to drive a ways to go get drinks and go get you know food. So I was like, you know what, let's build something real close to the base where when they get off work, it's not a hall. They can just drop in, have a beer or two, and then say, all right, take care and we'll see them next week. We have 31 beers on tap. And so, it, it, you know, we can have everything that we want out here. Um, and have fun. Right now we have about about 15 that are in barrels right now that are totally different and unique. Um, we always have a barrel aged version of our Imperial Stout that we rotate through, uh, but we try to always add some new stuff. That's what really the craft is to it. I mean, um, you don't come in here to take a tour. Our tour takes five minutes. It, it's, you come in to actually discuss beer, beer making process, what beers are we most proud of and why? And what beers are we choosing to drink at that moment? That, that's, that's really where you get that craft. It's almost more human connection than anything else. It's taking the time, taking the effort, and the hard work, the blood, sweat, and tears of everybody, including my, my head brewer and everybody that we've got at the front, to make the best product we can. For me, it's constantly trying to improve everything that you do. Constantly trying to improve tiny tweaks and also just trying to evolve styles. I think that's, that's to me is what craft beer is. It's my rocket fuel personally because it keeps me going every day, coming in here, making beers, canning beers, delivering beers, um, serving beers. It's, it's what keeps us going. So.